Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back. Uh, I was just, uh, I had to tap out of the game and watch a little bit of my last episode to see what I was doing. Could not remember. I knew I needed a lot of forged iron for the catwalk uh, railing and all of that, but I could not remember. I see here I'm low on rebar, and the one thing I didn't see is how far along I was, I got on the on the forge room over there but land claim block might as well go ahead and place it here just stick it out in the floor somewhere because I'm gonna have to pick all this stuff up and move it over to the new forge room but uh, that's one thing I'm not sure of I don't know if we've even crafted a forge or if we built a forge room yet but I remember getting the generator put in place and Crossbow bolts, we are getting low. We are getting really low. Uh, do I have any of those anywhere? I think they would be in there, if anywhere. Iron crossbow bolt. We could make steel crossbow bolts eventually, but we don't have steel yet, do we? How many points do we have? Eight points, and to get steel... Oh, we do have steel smithing, so I just need a crucible. Crucible, 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 crucible. We have crucible. My goodness. So I'm just far by. I'm trying to catch up here today, play a little catch up. And I don't know why we came back over to the base other than perhaps to get the forged iron for the catwalk. Uh, but I need to get over there and see what we have done, what we need to get done. I'm going to turn that off. Don't need to have that anymore. Go ahead and take that with us. Oh, well, let's see what's in it first. Oh, wait a minute. Why did that show empty? There we go. This one. This is the one we want to take. I hope. <laughs> hey, I appreciate all your support on the streams this past weekend. Had a good time. Have that new little stream series going where we're always run, always feral. They can detect me through walls. And I have a similar build going on over there. And I think it's going to be my go-to starter build uh, moving forward. Uh, it'll be what I use to get um, to get a good platform, a good place to start. And now once I get that, once I get a good base that I can always rely on and go back to for hordes, uh, then moving forward I can start building some cool base designs and we can get all fancy with it. But to start out with, I need something that's uh, a solid base that I know when I go over there to take on a seven day horde, there's going to be no shenanigans and we're going we're gonna to absolutely be successful each time. Because very soon, very, very soon, we're going to bump up that horde, that blood moon count to a ridiculous number. And we'll go ahead and take this forged iron with us as well. And in here, I need to drop this off for a moment. Get a stack of that, stack of that. We're going to need another concrete mixer. Pretty soon as well. Stick this in there and that in there. And I guess we'll leave that behind. Uh, steel arrowheads. That would be nice if I could make those steel crossbow bolts. Um, so we're still using the iron. I guess I'll just put these back in here for now. We'll put those where they belong. And rebar. Rebar. We are, are we out of rebar? Did I leave it behind at the other base? My goodness. Some of you probably remember better than I do. Uh, but I tell you what, I... I've, I've been bouncing around a lot lately. Have a big, massive build on the multiplayer server that I'm working on. And trying to get that done. Then the stream series that I'm working on. The little, uh, well I wouldn't call it hardcore. But the stream series we have going. That's another thing. And I guess also I could take my shotgun shells over there. I don't think I need steel for anything. We could leave the steel behind. But it's been really busy with a bunch of different things kind of scattered all about. So this is one turret. This is two turrets. Uh, let's just ride over there. I know it's not a, a long ride from here. We can turn that off. And ride over there and see. Uh, boy, it's a big difference between that series and this one. This one, they're not running all the time. Of course, they're, they are at nighttime. But... You know, I'll play this one for a week, all during the week. Then I go over to that one, and I see a zombie. And then all of a sudden, they come running at me, and I'm like, whoa! 
you know, it's like nighttime, but during the day. Uh, so it gets, it, it takes me a little while. <laughs> it takes me the first hour or so of that stream to get used to it. So I don't have that skipping like I do on here. Maybe a tiny bit. There's a deer. We need that deer. That deer's going to run away because of my mini bike headlight. I don't know why I get all quiet when there's a deer. I'm, oh, he, he's gone. <laughs> he took off running or something. Got him. Get that old hunting knife out. Get some meat. Oh, I'm dropping the bones because my inventory is full. All right, I think we had the base marked on our map over here. Yes, we did. We're aiming that way, too. So let's go over to it, uh, kind of figure out what I was doing, and then we'll get back into swinging things. This Monday uh, Let's Play series is always going to be a little bit shaky at the start. Uh, just take me a, a few moments to adjust to what we were doing. And, uh, and then, you know, we'll, everything picks back up on Tuesday, business as usual, uh, streamlining, doing everything we need to do uh, with efficiency. Uh, I think someone said that the trader respawns today, so maybe we take a visit, uh, stop by the trader since we have three almost within view distance from our base here. We'll stop by those, uh, check them out, see what they have, and... I don't know if I really have anything to sell. I'll have to look and see on here what I have to sell. I have pretty much everything I need. If he has uh, shotgun turrets, of course we'll use those. We'll buy those. But uh, anything else? We have an auger. Don't need that. We have a chainsaw now. Don't need that. Uh, so there's not a whole lot that the trader could offer me outside of armor uh, that I'm going to need. Had this weird thing, well, it's not weird, it's my own doing, on the multiplayer series, where are the stream series, I keep calling it multiplayer series, stream series. Did I, I know I had a place to get in here. I need to put some spikes down. Where I kept running over spikes with my mini bike. <laughs> and if that happens, you can't just simply repair your mini bike. It takes taking your mini bike apart and repairing each individual piece. Now, why did I do that? Why did I put that there? Does anyone remember? And I don't remember why I did that. But I spread this one out a little bit more. I should have done that on the uh, stream series, but instead I just made it taller. Uh, either way it works. So I guess there's a little difference between this series and that series. As far as how I started, started a little bit differently. Okay, so we hadn't done anything here yet. I don't even have a roof on the place. Well, let's go ahead and get this down. I'm just going to throw that out. And we'll put that there. To hold it up. The big difference is I have a nail gun on this series. I don't have one on that one. I just took on the 14-day horde, and it doesn't look like a nail gun is anywhere in my future. It's like I'm going to be without a nail gun for some time. So I want to kind of plan this out of my head, because I'd like to have two workbenches, two chem labs, possibly three of each, but definitely two of each. I'm moving forward, we're going to make this roof out of wood, because we may need to take it down at some point. And... You know, I didn't even do a test recording today. My goodness. Hopefully this is going to turn out and I don't have to scrap the episode because I didn't do a test recording to make sure it was working. Everything was working properly. Uh, but last episode was, uh, I think, a 19 gig episode compared to a 50 gig episode from the one before. And I thought it looked good. You know, I thought it looked okay. <clears throat> so hopefully this one follows suit with the quality. May have, may have could have bumped up the quality just a tad bit more uh, from the last one, but... Uh, I'll still tweak it moving forward. So we're going to do that now. We'll put a little wooden roof that way. If I want to change it later, I don't have to auger through, uh, you know, concrete. 
soothing sounds of 4 a.m. Voice is a little scratchy right now. Uh, I did about nine plus hours of talking past a uh, couple days on stream. Had a had a six hour stream Saturday. Thank you all for your support and being there. Those of you who are there, if you missed it, <clears throat> it is a series. Uh, it is a series. Uh, so I I post the replay the following day or that night even. And I encourage you to go check it out. It's been a lot of fun. Always run, always feral. Need to make some ladders here. And we need to make the catwalk. Yeah, the catwalk. And get that on across. So we have a place to get up and down. So I like this a lot. So one, two, three, that's a that's a chem lab. One, two, three, that's a chem lab. And that's a chem lab. All right. Uh, so that would leave us with workbench, workbench, workbench. You got a workbench. And let's see, we could do our cement or our forges on this side. Let's do that. Let's do the forges on this side. <clears throat> Most likely we'll we'll double stack them. We'll put some storage across the top. We'll do it that way. I don't have any resources on me, or we go ahead and, and get those taken care of. Uh, a little nervous about having everything in my inventory. Let's do this so I don't die. Almost. Oh, I did die tonight with a bunch of resources in my inventory on the stream series, but uh, did not lose anything, fortunately. Shotgun shells. I'll take some of that cement. And the catwalks. So I really should have brought more rebar because we're going to need to do this. We're going to need to put one right there. Upgrade that. Pretty sure. Let me kind of spot that. Looks like we're in line. Uh, it looks like I might have goofed up over there, though. Let me, let me go down there and see. Sure, there's nothing else I needed to leave behind or wanted to leave behind. Looks good. We can kind of fill that in or something. Yeah, I did sort of goof up right there. So our catwalk's going to run into that pole. But Glimpse told me. <laughs> he told me that I made one a different height than the other. Oh, yeah, the bars, the iron bars. We haven't done that yet. Yeah, we certainly need to do that. Uh, let's get that going. Make sure I don't step on my spikes. Uh-huh. Perfect. And we're going to need to make some more spikes as well. We'll take a break here in just a short, and we'll go over to the trader. I probably need to get all that upgraded to... Reinforce concrete very soon also. And I can most likely take that center pillar out now. It's all dry. I could remove that. I don't know if I'll worry about doing that or not. Um, get our bars back in here. Build myself up on frames and take a look at this real fast. So I could move it over one. I could put it right there. And let's put another, let's make some more ladders real fast here. I don't think I had a ladder to get up there yet, do I? No. Let's do that. Let's do that now. Let's put our ladders on the side here. All right. And the poles, the poles, the poles, the poles. I did not bring my relays with me. And let me climb up here. I think we put the engine in there. Did we fuel it up? Yeah, we did fuel it up. Okay. Well. Power. Only takes 32 watts. 15, 15, and then uh, two from the relays. So we're good there. Good there. 
And we still have a couple days, too. So, I mean, as it is right now, we could take on the 21-day the horde. And I don't think it's going to be much of a challenge uh, the way it is. But I do have to figure out how to do this. Let's go ahead and pull, pull, pull. Wet concrete pull centered. Let's count them out real fast. Let's see what this one is. Three, five, six. All right. So we'll want to do this one over here. Whoa, one of them like place, but it didn't. It sounded like. Oh, it needs to be seven. It needs to be seven. One, two, three, four, five. No, it needs to be six. So it's like one of them didn't get placed. I heard the noise and it looked like it got placed, but it didn't get placed. Let's uh, let's build our way up here and get this last one placed. You know, something like that. Now, if I had a land claim, I could just take that one down. Uh, but I don't, so... Rip. Rip a Rooney. Oh, that's right. It's, uh... <laughs> It's attached to the one next to it. It's a magical floaty block. A floaty block. I don't like those floaty bots. <clears throat> we probably do have enough concrete that I could reinforce all of this now. In case we get cops spitting up here. But this thing here. Uh, you know, I stand a chance of losing my generator. But I bet you I could make this all stand without that now that it's dried. Because let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You know, with the center portion, that's a good bit more weight, but I bet you I could make that stand uh, the way it is. Well, let me put a frame back in here just for the time being. And that's taken care of. Oh, this is not taken care of. Get my rebar and pop it right there. Upgrade it. Yes, we go ahead and build from this side, right? We need to make some poles. We need to make some poles. Some, You know, I guess we could do the wet concrete poles. And that would be... Uh, let's do uh, let's do 50 poles. Oh, we're going to do the centered. I'm sorry. We want to do the centered. 50 wet concrete centered poles. And put my catwalk. Yeah, the catwalk. Put a little catwalk there. Ah, that's going to kind of stink if I have to build my way up. No. I can reach. Three. Four. Five. Six. Oh! Bumping into my microphone. You get out of my way. My microphone seems to drop. Let me pick this thing up. Drop, drop. All right, we're back. We're back. Throw that out. Throw this out. Get those concrete poles. Ah, I'm going to have to build my way up with frames. So let's take the first aid kits off. Let's uh, drop down on to it. All right. Nice. And continue on. We'll do the same thing here. One, two. Come on, get it. Three, 
four, five, six. Get to where we're directly. If it works out, we're gonna have just enough rebar to get this done. I should have stayed over there and picked up, you know, about a hundred or so to bring with me. Oh, that grass is getting in my way. It's getting in my way. Put it here. Nah, I don't want to attach it because I don't want anything to fall, so. There we go. Nice. All right, do that all over again till we reach our final destination. One, two, three. Oh. Ow! You! Oh. All right, let's start that over again. So, one, two, three, four. Five, don't you flip on me like that. Six. All right. One, two, three, four, five, six. Get right up under it. Look down at the ground. Dig a hole. Jump around. We're going to have just enough free bar left over. Did I plan that last episode or something? I must have. Yeah, nice. I like it that we're able to uh, make that out of concrete now. That's that's perfect because uh, I did wood on the stream, and uh, I don't. That's not going to hold up at all. One, two, three, four. Come on, five, six. You're right up underneath it. Straight down. Perfect. And we'll do it over again. Hopefully we don't run out of these things. I can make some more. One. Two. Three. Fill in a hole. More. What is it doing? Five. Six. Oh, looks like, uh... Is that it right there? You don't have to put rebar down. That's nice. And just build our way up. Like it so. Mm-hmm. Real pretty, y'all. All right, so one. Ah! 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 Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Get up under it. Get down on it. Get down on it. Put my little concrete in the ground to give it some support so it can't be uh, destroyed. Have a little zombie digging up under it or something. Or digging at it. Might run out of concrete poles. Make some more of those. Oh, I must have counted that out just perfectly. I think I'll leave myself over with a few. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Hook up, hook down, take the hole, 
put in the frame, upgrade the frame, place a couple of these, build my way up. Oh, wait a minute. Am I off? Height-wise? Oh, I am way off. That's okay. We'll do some stairs right here. That'll work out. That'll work out. I don't know how I counted that. Oh, because I counted from right here as being the floor. I see. That's not a big deal. So what we'll do is... Well, let me make... Let me attach that. And... Stairs... Stairs. I had to do this on the stream too. Uh, more on purpose on the stream though. I didn't do it on purpose here, but uh, let's see. So we could do a door. Let's get the door installed. Or do we have a yeah, door? We'll make a hard metal door. It's going to take a while to make that. My goodness. And we'll get it up to the right level and take a look, see what it looks like. Take a sip of my tasty beverage while we wait. Door and stairs. Ooh, that doesn't work out right, does it? Can't get up there. Okay, well that's what I wanted to test. That's why I wanted to put the door on instead of just Installing it and upgrading it. I wanted to make sure it was going to work out right for us. So what we'll have to do is Stairs with railing And well oh. Oh, look at that. You have an advanced placement for all of that. That's kind of cool, too. Um, right there. <clears throat> then get the catwalk. Yeah, the catwalk. And attach the little catwalk right there. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Now we have our forged iron. It's like everything works beautifully like we had imagined or envisioned that it would. Hopefully we don't have any collapses as we build our way across. We are attached to concrete. That helps. This is to prevent a cop from spitting up here and taking it out in one shot. Is what that's for. So we are going to need to do some spider defenses on the corner. I have plans for that. Grand plans. Also have some wet concrete plates here. And we're left over with a good many, but that's okay. We use it for something else. A new project at some point. Who knows? But that connects our Ford bunker to our forge room. This is kind of just a little makeshift slap together something or another to get us by for now. And we won't ever worry about getting down over here. We'll just jump down. But I need to go get myself, uh, because we're going to put a hatch right here as well. I'm uh, going to need to get myself a uh, relay to put up there. Now, this is just temporary as well, where this shotgun turret is located. Uh, eventually, we will have one shotgun right there and one right there. You know, So there will be nothing in the center. We'll just walk straight through. For right now, we could put a hatch there, maybe a concrete plate or something inside so that the hatch will attach uh wooden hatch let's do that and the concrete plates we already have on our belt so i think what happens if maybe we can put it there let's see if it can just put it on there like this now nah, see you can't put that there but if you do this uh advanced placement and it doesn't matter where you stick it you can stick it wherever you want to stick it and there we go now uh let's Turn it this way. Now, look at that. And we have something that we can walk across uh, like a so. All right, good deal, good deal. We're going to jump down and hopefully not break our leg. We're probably going to break our leg or at least sprain our leg. 
No, get that frame placed quickly. Uh, I want to do something like what I did right there for the spider defenses. Something like that. And we're not going to need one here. Uh, I'm going to put one here anyway. We're not going to need it because we have that block there. So we go up one, two, three. Uh, one, two, three. Corners get a little special love, a little extra plate on them. I don't think we even had to create these or craft these plates. I think we had some back in our stash, I realized, last time when we went back to the base. All right, and we don't have any more spikes. We need to go get some scrap, and we need to make some. And we're going to place those just like we did these. It's going to give me a little extra boost. Might even put a couple spikes sticking out from the sides, like aiming this way. You know, like I'm a spike. Pretend I'm a spike, and I'm facing this way. <laughs> All right, so that looks good. That's our attachment. Could have been a little neater. Could have put a ramp there or something. We might even do that still. Make it look a little more uniform. But it is what it is. Makes us a nice little way to get back and forth from our forge room to our horde bunker. I like it a lot. What I don't like is that little piece of dirt right there holding me up. Uh, we're out of rebar, or I could go ahead and put the ceiling in there. Uh, this way over here is sort of a waste now. You know, I I was thinking about doing something over here. Something. Don't know what, but... How did that destroyed stone get in here? But now that we sealed it all off... Uh, oh yeah, we do have some spikes and some quarter blocks. Look at that. Look at that. We could probably just go ahead and pick this up. little whoop and just for now uh, what we'll do is we'll seal off this corridor we'll seal it off something like that I don't want to do it with concrete because then it's permanent now we may find a new use for that hallway at some point uh, we may use that in the future. I had another idea, but I'm not gonna I'm not gonna go through it with it now. Well, there's our rebar. We get some rebar back, right? We get to build uh, some of that out a little bit. Let's put away our plates. Break out the rebar once again. Do a little something like that. Something like this, a little something like that. I don't know why we need a concrete floor in here. Kind of cold on your feet, you know? And... We could put a ceiling in here, and it wouldn't be one of those low ceilings like some of you don't uh, care for so much. I don't know why I'm using concrete as much as we need that. We're going to use it anyway. All right. And we'll get some walls put in here before long. Uh, we'll, we'll take care of that. So nice, nice, nice. Accomplished a bunch there. Got uh, got a lot done with just getting this catwalk installed. I really don't care for that too much, like actually building the catwalk. Uh, <laughs> I have to do it now. This is like my third time doing that. Um, but the other thing is, you know, wanting to take this out. Oh, I tell you what. Uh, support, since we have so many... Let's do eight of these. Do 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 do. That looks kind of cool, doesn't it? One right there.
don't really need these. I honestly can't even tell you if they if they work like they're supposed to. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, I tell you what we're going to do, though, before I take a chance. We do have a spare generator. You know, I can spare the generator, uh, but uh, the engine, not so much. Before we take it out, well, let me do this, too. This is something I was talking about doing, and I had not done it. Well, you know, the plates aren't really going to provide me what I was looking for. Maybe they will. Maybe they will. Uh, a little shield. I was looking for a little shield. You know, a little something like that. Uh, just to protect it, you know, I don't imagine it will get hit by anything, but say a cop is firing at me and I'm standing right down here in their spit. You know how it has a little AOE, the little volley has an AOE? You don't want that thing to get destroyed. So that should protect it uh, from there. But I wanted to add that. That's four extra concrete blocks. Counts as a full block, even though it doesn't look like it. Um, it does. Uh, i tell you what, let's take out the top one first. And that one's going to be the... Uh, Tell the tale. All right, so it's holding up. It's holding up, folks. But I had to have that while it was drying, uh, just to be safe. You know, probably didn't really even, but I uh, wanted to make sure we didn't have that cave-in issue. Make sure we gave our point out to Miner 69er to get that five points. Uh, mining, Miner 69er, we did not. We need 25, though, so we better hold off on that. That's just kind of a luxury to have that, that uh, last point in there. So this isn't very fancy. doesn't look very good, uh, but I assure you it will work. We're going to have to move that hole where we put the relay right there. We're going to have to move that at some point because uh, we're going to have two shotgun turrets over there. Don't know how much larger I'll make this thing. Don't really know if I need to make it much larger, though we will need, need to make these supports out of steel. They're going to need to be steel. Uh, we're going to take massive damage once we increase the amount of zombies that we face. And all that's going to need to be steeled out. So it looks okay. I You know, for a starter base... It's, it's going to be all we need. Uh, let's jump down and get our spikes installed. Make sure I picked it up. Okay, scrap spikes. And when we go back over to the other base, we're probably going to start doing this thing where we uh, bring a few pieces over every time we come. And uh, that's going to be our new trend. Now, why did I not put a plate right there? Grand Spartan, I tell you. That's going to cause them to bump their heads. Another thing I want to do also is... I want to put a another two or three tiers of concrete out here. Uh, on the outside of this structure. I want to get that done as well. Uh, that way you don't have like this dip down here. Another thing I was talking about doing is like this. You know what I mean? Just to give that extra little bit of oomph when they come running in and try to beat on your pillar. At least it gives me a moment or two to shoot them with a crossbow bolt uh, before they destroy anything. I'm going to run out, but that's okay. We'll make some more, and we'll get them all upgraded as well. And uh, also need to make more to our place in the center. Might go collapse a building or two. I don't know. You know, just to get some extra uh, scrap. Quick bit of scrap. Uh, I kind of want to take out all the trees within visual distance of this base just to help with the FPS, because we are going to increase the number to a, a silly amount of zombies for uh, Horde Knight. 
Well, let's uh, let's ride to the trader. There's an airdrop right there. Looks like it's on the edge of the water. Living on the edge. And then we'll drive by Mr. Trader Joel, see what he's up to today. Oh, a walking zombie. You know, that's, uh, I don't even know how to handle that. Walking zombie. All right, we'll take all that stuff. Another walking zombie. I'm used to seeing those things, and they're coming at me full speed ahead. <laughs> so I don't know how to react to that. It almost feels too easy now. Almost feels too easy. Might do that. Might turn it up to always run, you know? We're not so far into the series that I can't change my mind about something, are we? Maybe turn the zombies to always run. Uh, difficulties on insane. And then we'll bump the, uh, the horde spawn. Well, the blood moon spawn is already at 150. But I've noticed that based on your game stages, that 150 number doesn't make mean a whole lot. Uh, I think changing the game stage file uh, to a much higher number is going to be where the where the challenge comes in for the increased hordes on Horde Knight. Increased size of the hordes on Horde Knight. How much space do I have in my inventory? Uh, the mini bike is almost full. Uh, well, we don't need dirt. We don't need that. We'll keep the sand. I don't need that little tin bit of... But you know what? That little tin bit of raw iron, I can scrap it. I get 37 iron out of it. I hear a zombie. Oh, she's right there. Hey, gal. Can't pass up the coal, folks. Can't pass up the coal. Oh, there's a snake! Puppy vulture snake! Puppy vulture snake! Oh, he's tough, too. Not tough enough, snakey. Yeah, I just read that a lady was in a restaurant. Uh, Texas Roadhouse, I think, is the name of the restaurant. Got bit by a copperhead. Bitten by a copperhead up in Virginia. Yesterday. Inside the restaurant. It's like, whoa! Bit her three times before she even knew what was going on. Feels like a bee sting is what they say. Never been bitten myself. Close call several times, but never bitten. Grew up in the country, and so out there we had water moccasins and rattlesnakes. Those things are... Uh, Pretty dangerous. You don't make it far if you get bitten by one. It's uh, it's almost a guaranteed. Uh, you're in a lot of trouble. I don't want to say death. That's, that's kind of a harsh word to use, but get that antivenom or you're in a lot of trouble. I kind of thought that about uh, seven days. I thought that maybe it would give you an infection just like the zombies do. Oh, pig! Nice. It would give you an infection like the deer. Like the zombies do. And that dead. You know, you would have to at least take an antibiotic or something. But there's uh, it doesn't do anything to you. It just does a little damage. Uh, not that I've noticed. I'm sure you probably could be infected just like you could from a zombie or something. I don't know. I've only been bitten like once by a snake, but. So I was kind of disappointed. I thought those snakes are going to be more formidable than what they are. They're really just something you avoid, you know? I guess like real life, you just kind of avoid them. Uh, you don't really get bitten by them, but. So we had the one trader I didn't go to that's back this way to the west. Remember, we found that uh, an episode or so ago. Could have stopped by there, but this one's going to be fine. These two over here, we'll just swing in there real fast. See what they have. Sell off a couple little items out of our inventory. And uh, like I said, I'm not in need of much of anything at this point in the game. 
looks like we have pretty much everything we need moving forward other than a lot of shotgun shells and some shotgun turrets. Uh, those things are certainly going to need more of those. The bullets we can sell. The bullets we can sell. The bullets we can sell. And the painkillers. Sell the bullets and the painkillers. Oh, yeah, and the jacket. The jacket. The little jacket right there. A couple treasure maps. We can go get those at some point. How about you just give me your money? All right. Sell that as well. Do a sort. Make sure there's nothing else in here I want to sell. Take a look at his secret stash. What do you have, sir? An AK-47. I don't need it, though. I think our blade on our chainsaw is very low but we can make a new one with steel and repair kit something i need to do let's click on all of his items and yeah, some duct tape and looks like that might be all oh curtain bottom sheet curtain bottom sheets boots with the fur yeah, I don't think uh, I don't think we need those. But let's see, their pile of coal right there. We'll scoop it up on the ride by, little ride by mining. How much coal are we up to there? Twenty-seven thirty, just picking at some piles. That'll get us by until we get a coal mine going. We need a coal mine at some point. I'm not going to stop at every single pile, but it's if it's in my path, I'll jump off the bike and do this number right here. I think what, uh, I'm trying to remember, I think we came across nitrate somewhere, didn't we, in a mine? Or am I thinking about another, another map that I'm playing on currently? Didn't we find that? So if we did, then we take a look at the map and see. Uh, just a mine, coal which I didn't start a mine there. And this biome right here, that's where we're going to get lead. My goodness, we're going to get lead there. Maybe that was the... Yeah, so we had another couple traders over there. The desert. I thought I started a mine in the desert up here. Boy, if I did and I didn't mark that, shame on me. Maybe some of you can tell me, did I start a mine in the desert up there? And if I did, did I find anything? Because if I didn't mark that, my goodness, shame on me. Shame on you, Grand Spartan. I probably put some wood frames up there. I probably did do that. I forgot to put my engine back in the generator, too. He has another generator bank. Let's go ahead and buy it. Um, let me see what else he has first before I click on that button. It's only 1200 You know, we just made that in the little few items that we sold right there. Oh, and he has nothing else that I am interested in, much like I had imagined. But get that generator bank. Ah, we can make one of those pretty easily, but go ahead and get it anyway. Hey, cheerleader. Don't need cheering right now. Leader of cheer. I head back to the base. What all do I have in my inventory? A lot of stuff. A lot of stuff. We're going to have to start transporting this stuff over to the new bunker now that it is uh, enclosed and sealed up. Uh, my mistake was this time not knowing the progress of that base and taking over about a dozen storage chests, putting them on the walls. Had that one storage chest there that I placed down, but I should have brought a bunch over and I could start sorting. And here we go with the city skip. That's what we're going to call it. City skippers. The old city skippers. Stay away from that military base. I don't think these military bases have landmines around them, the ones with the walls. Wouldn't make sense that they would because they have walls protecting them. Well, what originally started out in this building as 
a potential horde bunker. I changed my mind on that because I messed around with it on the multiplayer server. And I was not pleased with the results. I was not pleased with how it worked out. So in the end, it worked out best that I have this as a starting point, but that we, you know, changed directions and built our own bunker and had it done uh, quickly. Is this all ready? This looks ready. Yeah, look at that. I think we talked about it on the stream. The, the yucca gives two in tilled soil and four in fertilized soil. Um, let's go ahead and make some seed. Let's make 30. Craft those. Get those planted back down again. I just want to make some of that juice. You know, some of that yummy juice. You could juice. I was just kind of planting it around the fertilizer. It's not necessary, you know. Certainly not necessary to have this fertilizer the way I have it. But uh, it does enable you to condense your gardening a bit. And uh, not have it so... Have such a large garden to produce. You have a much, much smaller garden. A zombie. Dead zombie. Oh, glad that I won't have to jump up the stone and come up here any longer. Soon. Very soon. Soon and very soon. Uh, I could take this forge along with us. Pump out a little bit of clay, couldn't we? You know? Raw meat. Decent amount of raw meat. Ah, it would be nice to have a, a first aid kit somewhere. A first aid storage, I mean. And we'll stick the beakers in there as well. Then we'll have a crafting box here. We're going to stick. What are we going to stick in there? Now, stick that in there as well. Just for now. Stone. Let's do a sword on this. Boy, it's going to be so nice to get this stuff sorted out, folks. You can't imagine. 5127. So maybe we didn't get a nitrate mine going. I thought we did. Son of a gun. I thought we did. But we're pretty set on gunpowder. Look, we have all this gunpowder. Uh, you all tell me in the comment section below so I don't have to go back and watch some of the old episodes to figure out because I am confused. I don't remember. From last week's episode. Maybe I'll do that. Though. Maybe I'll go back and look and, and take a look at it and see what we had uh, and how I did it. No wood in there. Do we have anything in any of the workbenches? Nope. But this cement is almost done. Look at that. All of that cement, that concrete mix. Perfect. We're going to need it. So we're going to keep expanding that base over there. Making it bigger and better. And once we get it to where we're happy, we'll go build a new base somewhere. You know, uh, something cool. something, uh, Some tricky design with lots of traps and all kinds of good stuff. But we have to make this one so that it can take on difficult hordes. So I imagine uh, it's going to take a little while to get up to that point where we have eight shotgun turrets and so forth. This one down here is complete. Uh, lump of clay. Let's go ahead and pump that out. Take all this stuff and put it in our chest right here. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Well, that concludes our episode for the day. Got a decent amount of stuff done. Have our horde bunker almost ready to go. Need to get some scrap out of here. And I'll go ahead and queue some up right now before I forget. So next time I log in, they will be crafting in my inventory. 150? Uh, let's say 100. We'll do 100 of those spikes. And we'll leave the rest of the scrap over to upgrade the spikes that we have over there. Well, thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for watching. Have yourselves a good day, good evening, wherever you may be located. And I'll see you all tomorrow.